Hey everybody, this is Alpha Captain Ramius coming to you from EVE Online. Today we're going to take a look at a failed abyssal in a natron. Now this is a, a this is a, a tranquil electrical, by the way. So when we take a look at this ship right off the bat, we can see, you know, I'm trying to get better tracking, but that's not the way to do it. Better tracking comes from your web of fire. Well, that's mistake number one. Now, I'm also trying to do EPS damage or EMP damage. So EMP damage, yeah, that's cool. But let's take a look at this NPC here and see what it's doing to us. Now my tank is holding up. So my tank is good. My tank is spot on. And keep in mind, I am an alpha clone here with very early skills. Some might say too early. And that would be your conclusion from this particular abyssal run, because that NPC is tanking all of my damage. Now I realized at this point that it, um, I've got, I've got, uh, I've got some implants I'm going to lose because I can't kill this thing. I mean, it's tanking all of my damage. I'm tanking all of it. So it's gonna be a draw, and I'm still gonna die. So, I mean, take this experience for what you will. Now I'm dealing EMP damage. I'm supposed to. This is a tranquil electrical. But I can't do enough damage to kill it. Now, if I had had a web of fire, and I didn't, maybe this would have gone different. Maybe my damage application could have been more spot on. Now, we can't see my transversal, but you want to keep your transversal as high as possible. And, you know, I was thinking, let's see if I can get him in better options. Nope. Not really having an effect. It is still tanking 100% of all the damage I can give it. Now, arguably, I've got auto cannons here. Should have had artillery. If it was artillery, it might be a different story. I might have been able to do more damage. But I've got auto cannons. And we're just going to sit here and watch me fail. Because what else is there to do? I mean, I can't kill it no matter what I do. And we just, we just bumped into the edge of this little pocket of space. So here we are in the abyss. By now I've realized I really can't kill it. And there's no way for me to get out of this room. The conduit is locked until you kill everything. Even when you're faced with a situation where you can't kill the thing, you've been told you have to kill. Now, maybe there should be a little exit, you know? Hey, I'm stuck, I can't kill it. And hey, the game knows I can't kill it, right? Because it's tanking me and I'm tanking it. But that doesn't exist because this is EVE Online, and when it's your time to die, well, you just gotta suck it up and die. Now, it's a cheap ship, so no great loss. And I'm gonna lose a pl uh, plug-in or two. You know, that's life, it happens. You can always get more risk and buy plug-ins, implants, things that slap into your head. But, you know, for the next 
three minutes, we can all contemplate exactly where we screwed up. Now, why I picked up the loot, <laughs> well, that's the mystery. Right, so you want to make sure you can actually kill everything. And I think the weapons are probably going to do the best based on my experience. It's probably going to be um, not auto cannons, probably going to be artillery. If you're a Minmatar, focus on artillery. If you're a Galenti, well, maybe you just screw it. Learn some Mimitar skills, or Caldari. Um, get some artillery, or get some missiles, or stop running in an Atron and get a Tristan. Because you've got a Tristan with a web of fire and, and suitable drones, for this would be Acolytes, so you can apply enough damage. Now this is the first time I ran into this particular, what's it, a Skybreaker? I don't know. Seems like it's a Skybreaker. And it's, uh, it's a shield tank Skybreaker at that. So, you know, that's the way it goes. What are you going to do? Uh, so I'm checking its damage. You know, how can I apply my damage? It seems to have pretty good EMP resist. And maybe for this one, I should have switched to a different ammo type that I didn't take with me. I don't know. So maybe that's point number two. Maybe don't count on everything being weak to EMP when you're in a tranquil electrical. Maybe you take some other ammo types with you. So, artillery, web of fire, ammo types. So far, those are the three things. And, you know, we've got a bit of time here left to contemplate exactly what went wrong. So, it kind of looks like maybe I should have had thermal for this one. Because once I get through its shields, its armor is pretty weak to thermal. And, you know, maybe that would have done it. I don't know. But you, you get what you get when you come into these things. You don't know what NPCs you're going to run into. You don't know how they're going to be configured or what their little strategies that they've been, you know, programmed with might be. And you got to hope that you're going to be prepared. And that's really the point of the exercise. Can you be prepared? Now, can this be done in a frigate? Yeah, sure. I mean, boost your skill. Get a multitude of damage types going. Figure out what weapon types work better, just in general. And right now, that's not autocannons. Fit your ship properly. And, you know, maybe you get lucky. I would still go with drones, number one. Artillery or missiles, number two. Um, I haven't tried doing this in an Amar ship with beams. You know, beams that can do thermal damage for this one probably would be good. I don't know. We're just diagnosing what went wrong here and how unprepared I was. And now uh, you want to be that person who's going to be a whole lot more prepared. So hey, if you like the content you're seeing here, and if you like watching me screw up, I don't mind showing it, then you know, hit the like, subscribe, and share button and spread the word. You can tell everybody that Alpha Captain Ramius is a big dumb idiot. And here's a video that proves it. And I'd go along with that. Here, I was a big dumb idiot. And I lost my ship. Not an expensive ship. And I'm an alpha clone. Now, 
Later, I'd like to show what happens when you're in an Omega ship with an Omega clone. It's a different experience. But you gotta, you gotta suck it up when you're an Alpha clone. You're at the low end of the food chain, and you're always gonna be, and that's just the way it is. Can you play EVE Online for free? Yeah, sure. You can have fun. You can have all kinds of fun. I would say don't do any PvP, because everybody out there is going to be an Omega. Everybody you run into is going to be, you might run into an Alpha, you know, here and there, very rarely. But everybody else is going to be an Omega with a lot better skills than you. Can you run Abyssals as an Alpha? Yeah, you can. Out of my experience, just based on dumb luck, you make a, you, you make a million here and a million there, and you're gonna have to buy a new ship once in a while. I would say make sure you get rid of all of your uh, augmentations in your head by doing a jump clone, but that's gonna cost you an extra 900k to set up a jump clone. It's not free. And there are great deals when it comes to going Omega. Um, in the beginning, they give you really great deals. And later on, if you watch for the deals, you'll see some really nice deals. When it comes to turning real money into ISK, uh, there's those opportunities as well. Uh, right now, you can buy skill extractors for not a whole lot of money. And you could turn the money that you have in your bank account into ISK in the game and then have fun. And that's another way to plex yourself. Or you can grind and plex. Some people see that as being a worthy challenge. Never actually done that in the last two decades. But that's always an opportunity. And I've always found that EVE Online as a game is very fun, it's very deep. It's very intricate, can be a very challenging game, and I would say that uh, that'd be something to look at. Now, the only thing we can do here is run down the clock, but that's why I'm looking at the clock. I'm stuck in this pocket of space. Can't get out until I kill everything. Can't kill this particular NPC because it is shield tanky, like there's no tomorrow didn't have the right fit, didn't have the right equipment, and I ran into a brick wall. So I am the irresistible force, that's what I think, running into the immovable object, and that's what it knows. And all I can do is watch that time tick down to zero, because that's the only way I'm getting out of here, as a corpse floating in space. But hey, look on the bright side. At least I don't have to worry about any uh, any abyssal campers trying to gank me when I come out, because I'm not coming out that way. And so here we are. We're at the end. Don't be this guy. Be the other guy. We'll catch you later.